Hello, this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we made it here to the Central Pit. And in this episode, we're going to continue exploring the Central Pit by getting into even more fights. Yeah, it's a combat-heavy area. Oh well. I could try and run through these guys, but I feel like that wouldn't end up being good for me. We can definitely do this. Okay. I don't know. Maybe if I get tired of fighting, then I'll just blow through everything. Yeah, let's keep on going. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about these fights since they're enemies that are comparable of comparable level with aggro on sight. It's just something you have to deal with. Uh, I want to fight that thing up there, but these guys are definitely going to cause problems for me if I try. Can I get, like, y'all two to come here? And then we can just go like this, maybe? No, now the big guy's aggroed on me, too, and now we just have a whole big fight! Yeah, I'm out! Let's head over this way first, because there's some extra stuff that we can get over here. There we go. You just gotta run far enough away and they'll stop chasing you. Which seems a little bit weird considering that Mechon are kinda hellbent on killing us all. I would have felt like they would chase us to the ends of the earth if they wanted to, but I don't know. Gameplay story segregation, I guess. We can climb up this wall of uh, weird looking vines over here. Just don't do it for the vine. And collect ourselves some earthy str er <laughs> Wow, I really can't talk today, can I? Earth ether crystals, not Easter crystals. It's like a reverse lisp or something. Where I mess up my uh, s with. But anyway, let's actually move on with the area now. There's a lot of branching paths like these, and I figured I might as well just collect the ether crystals here while I can. Alright. So yeah, that elevator over there, that's actually where we want to go. I just didn't run that way because I figured bad things would happen to me if I tried. Ooh, an M32 transport unit. I think these things have a pretty good chance of dropping some good things. Regulation piston. Okay, it's not a lift per se, it's a piston. Same difference, really. We can actually ride it up in order to get some more stuff, so I'm gonna see if I can't do that. Uh, I think I made a mistake! No, we live in, we live in. Okay, but I actually want to ride it up, not down. You want to be careful when trying to board this thing. You probably want to board it while it's rising instead of while it's falling. Or else you might find yourself getting hurt. A lot. So. Yeah, the fall can kill you if you uh, time it particularly poorly. Oh wow, we actually got another piston over here. Uh, we can walk across this, I think. Ooh, no, no, no! Uh... Thank you. Alright, let's take a look at what's around here. Uh, more M32 transport units. It's kind of weird how the transports don't have any sort of aggro conditions. Yeah, I don't care. We're, we're, we're running through. I'm done fighting today. Uh... We've got more enemies here. Uh, okay, there's nothing back there, so I can just do this. Hooray for instant aggro cancellation! What do you mean that's totally broken? I mean, you're right. These guys are just gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Man, that's cheesy. All right, uh, give me my ether crystals. My electric yellow ether crystals. Do you gotta wonder why people associate electricity with yellow? I kind of wonder where like that came from, you know? I mean, there's also like purple electricity and blue electricity, but yellow electricity I see a lot too. Yeah, keep following me. It's not gonna change my mind about how I feel about fighting. I could have skip traveled, actually, now that I think about it. Huh. Well, nobody ever said I made the best decisions in the universe. Um, actually, it looks like the other lift takes us to the option layer. I think this is the lift we need to take in order to move on with the game. So that's kind of interesting. Alright, well, let's head over onto that other lift then for some optional content. Yeah, I should have skipped traveled. Oh well! Uh, let's wait for it to start rising a little closer or else it'll kill us. This must be, like, one of the most unsafe lifts in the universe. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got some fire ether crystals over there to collect. Welcome back to Let's Collect Ether Crystals with Prince of Somnia while running away from evil robots. I don't think I'll actually be able to collect these, though, so I might just fling myself off at my nearest convenience. Oh, no, 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 we made it, we made it. I will still fast travel back though. It's faster that way. That's why they call it fast travel. Not just any piston viewers, a regulation piston. So yeah, this is basically just how the ether mine is. It's just going by down a bunch of side paths, collecting ether crystals as you wind your way down all the way to the bottom. See this area get a lot of hate, and to be honest, it's not the most interesting area in the game. I don't think it deserves hate hate, but I also don't think it really deserves a whole lot of love. It's generally the least, one of the least interesting dungeons in the game. I gotta be real. I don't know. I kinda... Maybe I remember having a little bit more fun with this place the first time, but... This time, it's not that interesting. Bye! I don't know, it doesn't help that the music here isn't the greatest either. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned before is really how you want to kit out your, your characters with ether crystals. I mean, I did, or ether gems, I did kind of mention it, but there's some like finer points to things. Uh, the interesting thing about Shulk, actually, in and his Monado arts is that Shulk benefits more from ether up than you might ordinarily think. As it turns out, Monado Buster actually deals damage based on Shulk's ether stat, as well as his auto attack damage, which is boosted by strength. So it's actually kind of worthwhile to give him a little bit of ether up in addition to stuff like agility up or strength up. It's kind of interesting and weird how you would think that, but yeah, more characters benefit from boosts to both than you might ordinarily think. Although yeah, Ryan is very predominantly a physical fighter. And yeah, Cheryl is very predominantly a special, or not a special, but uh, ether fighter. But yeah, it's just one of those interesting little uh, details, or tidbits, I guess. It just kind of makes sense, considering the Monado is like a blade of energy and all that stuff, so I guess it wouldn't make sense for Ether to boost that power.
Man, we're really just raking in the Ether Gems. There's gonna be a lot of collecting to do in the near future. Wow, we actually got an achievement, Titan's Generosity. I think that has to do with how many pulls we've gotten. I'm not sure about that one, though. Personnel Lift 3. Also, don't worry too much about area completion for the Central Pit. Uh, the pit itself, you'll basically visit every landmark and area as you go through the dungeon. So, if you're going for 100% area completion like I am, it's not too much to concern yourself with. Speaking on that front, I, I did say I would eventually be releasing area completion videos. Uh, at this point, you can complete the map for Colony 9 and the Bionis Leg. You can't complete Tefra Cave, and I wouldn't recommend looking up Tefra Cave's map at all. Uh, it might spoil some things for you, but yeah. I'll make a note of which maps you can and can't complete uh, as and when we get across them. And so that way you don't have to like look up a map yourself and accidentally spoil yourself. I will warn though that the map completion video will probably have spoilers in it. So... Yeah, you've been warned. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think this is a fight we actually have to do, so... Yeah. Let's take out this M84. Ooh, let's see if we can topple this guy, actually. Wild down. There we go. Alright, get his defense down, and we pull the adverse of the Shadow Eye. There we go. Amen to that, Shulk. I don't think I mentioned this when I talked about how vision warnings work either. I guess I'm kind of just casting it out for topics at this point. Uh, when you warn someone about a vision, it does deplete the uh, party gauge by one bar. So you gotta be really careful how you use that. That's another reason why you probably want to put Shulk in the lead instead of uh, as a side party member so that if you need to warn him to use shield or something like that, uh, you can do it more easily. I guess another thing I can say about Monado Arts is that Monado Speed only affects physical arts. So at the moment, if you get a vision about Ether Arts, there's nothing Shulk can really do about that. Not that I see very many visions about Ether Arts happen. Uh, I generally I won't. I only see those when I'm on low health. In which case, I just use the vision warning thing to get Charlotte to heal my party. But other than that, I don't think it's much of a big concern. When it comes to gear, we have light, medium, and heavy armor. Of course, like I mentioned before. Uh, the lighter the armor, the better its ether defense, but the worse its physical defense, and vice versa. Heavy armor has really good physical defense, but pretty garbage ether defense. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind. But anyway, this is our last stop in this little area over here. Let's just do a short hop over this way. And we've got yet another fight to get into. Two of them? Ah, crap. I'm totally not prepared for two. Okay, that time I guess they just decided not to chain spam cylinder hand one and just screw me that way, so that's nice, I suppose. It's not something the game warned me about because it didn't do enough damage to get a vision, which is also kind of upsetting, but whatever, whatever. We've made it past them. This is where we need to go in order to progress with the plot, so that at least is nice. Ooh, collectibles. Ooh, a piece of candy. 
But all right, so beyond this point is kind of like a point of no return, essentially. Uh, it'll be boss time from here on out, and uh, then the mine will basically be closed off forever. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, we're going to be heading down into the ether mine to see if we can find that bronze-faced mechon. See you guys then!